Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Otmi. Hello, Evelyn. Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how teacher. Are how are you? Hello. Excellent. Thanks for asking me. And how are you? How are you tonight? Good. Thank you. Okay, that's great. You are good. Okay, so today we're going to start our English course, right? So you are in pre-intermediate two, right? This is your English course, so welcome to this uh, English course. Uh, my name is Ever Nieto, and it's a pleasure uh, to meet you tonight. It's nice to meet you. So let me change my name Thank here. You. Second. I'm going to change my name. So my name is Ever Niet. Okay. So I want to know what is your full name? What is your full name? Can you please tell me who wants to start? Any volunteer to start? Tell me what is your full name? Can you say my name is? You say your name completely, please. Name is. Hello, teacher. My name is Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Nice to meet you, Edwin Antonio. Hello, teacher. My name is Evelyn Susana Sajet Alfaro. Nice to meet you, Evelyn Susana. Thank you. Who's name? Hello. Hello, My Jennifer. My name is Jennifer Janira Osorio Calderon. Nice to meet you, Jennifer Janira. Any other volunteer? Hello, Carlos. Hello, Mr. Serrano. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, let's start with tonight's class. Today, we're going to start with some rules that we know some important information that we need to follow. Right during this English course. I'm going to um, share with you my screen. I'm going to show you the next presentation and we are going to see some of these important things that we need to know uh, before to start this English course. So let's go with this. Here we go. I'm sharing with you my screen. Please let me know if you can see it. Can you already see my screen? Yes. Thank you so much, Edwin. Yes. So welcome yes, to pre-intermediate to English class. So welcome to this English course. Uh, as I said before, my name is Ever Nieto and I'm going to be your facilitator during this course, right? So it's an honor for me, right, to be here with you tonight. So let's talk a little bit about homework and evaluation. Let's see. Uh, you need to achieve at least the 80% in the homework and evaluation uh, to complete this English course, right? So 80%, that is the number that you need. That is the percentage that you need to complete the platform, homework and evaluation. Es necesario que obtenga por lo menos el 80%, right? Antes de la finalización del curso para aprobar este curso. Okay. Pero todos vamos a terminar al 100%, ¿verdad? 80% es lo que necesitamos, pero lo que nosotros queremos es el 100%. Y por eso vamos a dejar completa esta plataforma, que no nos falte ningún ejercicio. So, let's see where you are going to find this uh, homework and evaluation. You are going to find them in the platform, right? Ya todos tienen acceso a la plataforma. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ok, ya probamos. Yes, sí, teacher. Funciona su correo, su contraseña. Yes, Everything is ok. Yes. Ok, great. Then. Y, then, y se recomienda trabajar justo después de cada clase, pero puede adelantar contenido. ¿eh? Y puede ir adelantándose a las clases. ¿eh? 
Si tiene alguna duda, tiene algún problema, puede escribir al grupo de WhatsApp y con gusto vamos a ayudar, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, todas las tareas de los temas de cubiertas tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. ¿Ok? Cada sección que vayamos terminando tiene que estar terminados los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Y si toca examen, tiene que estar hecho el examen antes del día viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es, él lo revisa el INSAFOR semanalmente, ¿verdad? Si hay material de apoyo, será compartido a criterio del facilitador y en formato digital, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Any question? Any question until this point? Do you have any no question? No question, No question. No. Yeah. Let's continue then. Let's see. This is... This is our schedule, right? We are going to follow this. For in the week number one, which is this one, we are going to study section one and section two. In the second week, section three and the midterm. En la segunda semana se tiene su primer examen, ¿verdad? Aparte de las tareas, tiene que completar el midterm, que es el examen de medio curso. In week number three, we are going to work on section number four. In the week number four, we are going to complete Section 5, and you have your final exam. Y usted tiene su examen final, ¿verdad? So, let's go with this. Um, here are some important points that we need to take into account when we are here in the uh, virtual session, right? Uh, siempre tiene que estar silenciado su micrófono, ¿verdad? Después de cada participación, tiene que dejarlo en silencio. Y su nombre completo, debe estar su nombre completo para poder reconocerlo, ¿verdad? Y no llamarle por otro nombre. Eh, active participation, eh, participación activa, uso del chat. Tenemos que utilizar el icono que está ahí, ¿verdad? Levantar la manita si tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta. En cualquier momento puede interrumpir, ¿verdad? Puede levantar su manita, no hay ningún problema. Y lo más importante, ¿verdad? respetar a sus compañeros, siempre mantener el respeto entre nosotros. ¿eh? Any question in this? Any question in this part? No, teacher. No. no question. Thank you so much. Okay, just to finish this. Uh, you have to complete at least the 80% right, of attendance to the classes. Uh, se espera ¿verdad? que usted participe en el 100% de las sesiones virtuales, pero siempre hay al, puede suceder alguna emergencia ¿verdad? o algo que no tengamos contemplado, pero siempre avise, por favor, si va a faltar a la sesión virtual. Eh, tiene que completar el 80% de asistencia ¿verdad? a las clases virtuales para que no tenga ningún problema para recibir su diploma. Eh, tiene que avanzar ¿verdad? y desarrollar los ejercicios en la plataforma de aprendizaje. El inicio de clases donde es este día. Nuestro horario es de 8 a 9 p.m. Y debe de tener la cámara encendida. La clase dura 60 minutos exactos. Y debe de trabajar los ejercicios ¿verdad? en la plataforma después de cada clase. Y al final usted va a poder obtener su diploma de manera digital. Sin ningún problema. ¿verdad? Entonces, si cumplimos todas estas... Eh, digamos, indicaciones, no vamos a tener ningún problema durante el curso. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta este momento? ¿Do you have any question? ¿Ya todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp no. también? Teacher. Questions? ¿Do you have any question? ¿No hay preguntas? Ok, that's great then. Si surge alguna duda, alguna pregunta, la pueden hacer. No hay ningún problema. Let's start then with tonight class. Today we are going to start with this question. How often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercise? What is the meaning of this question? Anyone has any idea? What's the meaning of this? 
uh, ¿Cuál a menudo haces ese ejercicio? Ok, thank you so much, Trisha. And Yami, do you have any idea? Yes, teacher. Es cuando uno hace ese ejercicio. Ok, excelente. How often do you do exercise? So let's start with this topic, right? Tonight we're going to remember the frequency adverbs. Do you remember some of them? Do you remember some frequency adverbs? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, we are going to list then in a minute. Let's read the lesson object for tonight before we start with listing the frequency adverbs. So by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask an answer question using advert of frequency. That is the goal for tonight, right? To ask an answer question. Aprender a preguntar y a responder preguntas utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia. Now let's remember the frequency adverbs. Can you tell me some of them? Usually. Thank you so much. Usually is one. Sometimes. Sometimes is another one. Excellent. Thank Never. You. Always. Never. Thank you. I have always. Which other one? Usually. Every day. Every day. Carlos Vladimir, can you please repeat? Can you repeat, please, teacher? Oh, tell me, tell me the frequency adverb that you remember, please. Uh, usuality, every day. Um, sorry, I don't remember more. Oh, don't worry. We are going to remember then. Say every day. Thank you. Every day, anyone? Hardly ever, cuenta Okay, excellent. Hardly ever is another one. So I have twice. Twice. Twice, teacher. Yes, we use twice. Twice. Yes. Rarely and okay. occasionally. Rarely, occasionally. Thank you. Occasionally. Any other? Anyone? Okay. Once in a while? Yeah. Once in a while, yes. So let's leave the frequency adverb here, right? The first one is always. It means siempre. Then we have usually. Usually, then we have often, often, then we have sometimes, then we have a hardly ever, hardly ever. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and we have never. Okay, the first one means siempre, right? It means that you do this activity or this action always, siempre. Usually, usualmente, unas cuatro veces por semana, often, tres veces por semana, por ejemplo, sometimes, algunas veces, hardly ever. It means raras veces, casi nunca. And finally, we have never, which means nunca. So instead of this frequency adverb, we have other phrases that we use to express frequency. For example, you say twice. We have once, it means una vez. Then we have twice, which means two, two, dos veces, which means dos veces, twice. And then we have three times. Luego empezamos a contar three times, four times, five times. I play soccer three times a week. I cook eh, seven times a week. So we start counting. Also, we use every day. I take a shower every day. Then I have every week, every month, every year. Okay. 
And those are these expressions. We are going to learn some others later. So do you have any question about this part? Now, help me to answer this question that we have here, right? Uh, wait, I have a question in the chat. Oh, seldom is another one, right? Seldom, thank you, Carlos. Seldom, también means raras veces, right? Raras veces. Yes, give me a second. I'm going to erase this here. Then, and we're going to see this. How often do you, let's see, look at this picture. How often do you go jogging? jogging? How often do you go jogging? Con que frecuencia sale a correr? Any volunteer to answer this question? How often do you go jogging? Hardly ever. <laughs> hardly ever. Evelyn says, I hardly ever go jogging. That is the sentence, I hardly ever go jogging. Excellent, thank you. Any other answer? How often do you go jogging, guys? I never go jogging. Excellent, thank you. I never go jogging. Okay, is it healthy or unhealthy to go jogging? Healthy. Okay, it's healthy, right? It's good for our body. And the last answer, how often do you go jogging? Any volunteer to answer? Never, but I try it. Ah, okay. I never go jogging, but I will try. Pero lo intentaré. That's great. Right, so. I always ride my motorcycle. Okay. Yes, yeah, that is a good sentence. I always ride my motorcycle. Thank you. Let's see the next picture here. Okay, ride a bike. Take a look at this. How often do you ride a bike? Let's answer this using the frequency adverb. How often do you ride a bike? I hardly ever ride a bike. Okay, I hardly ever ride a bike. Any other question? Sorry, any other answer? How often do you ride a bike? I sometimes ride a bike. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Thank you so much. The last one. How often do you ride a bike? I ride a bike twice a week. Okay. Thank you so much. Twice a week. Perfect. Let's see the next picture here. Lift weight. Lift weight. How often do you lift weight? Never. And do you go to the gym? Teacher? Never. Yes. I, I, I three times a week uh, go to the gyms. Okay, thank you for your sentence. I go to the gym three times a week. I go to the gym three times a week. Thank you for your sentence. Thank you so much. Let's see the next. Let's see the next. Uh, go swimming. How often do you go swimming? I never go swimming. Excellent sentence. Thank you. I never go swimming. I occasionally. Occasionally. Perfect. I occasionally go swimming. Very good. I often go into swimming. I often go swimming. Go to swimming. Okay. Super sentence. Thank you. I often go swimming. Thank you so much. I go Peter, often. Sorry. Yes. How do you say often? Often. Often. Yes. In Spanish? Oh, in his frequentemente. Oh, thank you, teacher. In the last one, how often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? I sometimes go to play soccer. Okay, I sometimes play soccer. Very good sentence, thank you. I sometimes play soccer. Any other answer? How often do you play soccer? 
I go often uh, in the weekend. Okay, I often play soccer on the weekend. Very good. Con frecuencia juego fútbol los fines de semana. That's great. Thank you. Excellent sentences. Thank you so much, guys, for your help during this exercise. Now let's go with the next thing. Take a look at this small conversation. I hardly ever exercise. What is the meaning of that sentence? That is the topic for this conversation. I hardly ever exercise. What does it mean? I hardly ever exercise. Yo casi nunca me ejercito o hago ejercicios. Perfect, very good. ¿Quién cree que dijo esa oración? ¿El chico en patines o la chica que está acostadita en el sillón? Watching TV. La chica que está acostada en el sillón. Ok, sin duda fue la chica que está acostada, ¿verdad? Ok, now let, let's see a look at this. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Look at this question. Do you exercise a lot? Te ejercitas, te ejercitas mucho. So let's listen this small conversation. Let me know, please, if you can I listen. I hardly ever exercise. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. Let's listen to this. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, now after listening to this, uh, do you have any questions about vocabulary in this small conversation? Any new vocabulary, new words? A word that you don't know in this part? Yes, teacher. Question, um, for example. A question. Uh, what's the meaning of this? I am a real coach. Okay, okay I don't excellent. Understand. I guess I am a real coach potato. Y si traducimos literalmente, eso sería una, pa una papa, ¿verdad? En el sillón. But it is, it is an idiom. ¿Ya han escuchado acerca de los idioms? That is an idiom. Yes. Uh, it means that he is a person who likes to stay at home, sitting on the couch and watching movies or videos. That is the meaning of that, right? Is, yo soy una persona sedentaria, podríamos decirlo, ¿verdad? Alguien que prefiere estar en el sillón watching TV y viendo televisión. That is a coach potato. Any other new words? Now help me to identify the frequency adverb in this conversation. What is one? Frequency adverbs in the conversation. Teacher, I don't know, but almost always is a frequency adverb. Oh, yes, it is. Almost always. It means casi siempre. I almost always get up early. Casi siempre me levanto temprano. And leave way for an hour. Igual que los chicos de la clase, ¿verdad? Todas las mañanas una hora levantando pesas. That's why they are so well built any other new work then I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation for is the new vocabulary who wants who wants who wants lift weight is levantar pesas yes lift weight levantar pesas seriously de veras Sure. Y, el, y en la primera cuando dice eh, you're really fit, cuando le dice tú estás realmente en forma, ¿verdad? Pero yes. fit así se traduce, fit. Fit, yes, en forma. You're really fit. Estás en forma. Any other question? If no, let's practice. 
Uh, let's listen again, please. Let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation, please. And then I'm gonna choose two participants to practice in this small conversation. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Thank you. Now let's see. I'm going to choose. Da, 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 da. Well, do I have volunteers? I volunteer. Me, volunteer. teacher. Tell me your name, please. Me and Christina. your name. Cristina, thank you. Yami and Cristina, thank you so much. Yami and Cristina. Is your name Yami or Jamilet? My name is Jamilet. But, uh, ah, okay. You can call me Jamie. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, Yami. Thank you. Let's start, please. So, Yami, you are going to read Mari's part and Christina, you are going to read Paul's part. Can you please start? Okay. 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 I start. I start. Just to... please. Yes, you can start. Go ahead, please. You read it, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. <clears throat> Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. How about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV like that. And I, I am really coach for baby. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Very good pronunciation. Congratulations. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Jamie and Christina. Excellent job in this part. So I have Carlos Vladimir as a volunteer. I need another one. Any other who wants to participate tonight? Teacher, a question. Yes, what's your question? Tell me. Uh, I don't understand the fine line line. I guess I'm a red coach potato. Uh, what is your, your... In Spanish, teacher, please. I don't understand. Okay, so let's say I often go in like skating. It means andar en patines, right? Andar en patines. Existe el skateboard, que es la patineta, o la tabla, con las bollantitas. And inline skating is this one, right? The one that this boy is wearing in the picture. Los patines que está utilizando el chico. ¿verdad? Sería patinar, patines. And, and the last one, real couch potato, sería yo soy una persona sedentaria, que prefiere estar en casa y no hacer ejercicio. Ah, it's okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue then. No more questions in this part? I hardly ever. Okay, now I'll take a look on this. Adverb frequency. I have heard sometimes, hardly ever, never, often. And also I have some other expression. Every day, once a week, twice a month three times a year, often and much. How often do you exercise? That is the question. And it says, I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or I don't exercise very much. So let's see a look of the position of this expression, right? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. 
let's listen this example. Any new vocabulary in these sentences? Okay, take a look at this. Está marcado ahí sometimes, ¿verdad? Yes. Excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning in the word lift? Can you please repeat? Uh, for example, uh, I lift weights every day. What's the meaning? Lift. Okay, lift is levantar. Weight is pesas. Yo levanto pesas cada día. O todos los días. I lift weights every day. Todos los días. Once a week. Una vez a la semana. Twice a month, dos veces al mes. And then we have three times a year. Tres veces en un año. Often. I don't exercise very often. No me ejercito muy seguido, ¿verdad? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Okay. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? ¿Alguna vez ves televisión en las tardes? Say yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Antes de irme a dormir, I watch TV sometimes, algunas veces. Hardly ever watch, I hardly ever watch TV. Yo raras veces veo televisión y I never watch TV. Yo nunca veo televisión. What about you? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? I I often watch TV when I take when I take my dinner. Ah, okay. Thank you so much for your sentence. So you say I often watch TV during my dinner. Thank you. Any other answer? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? I hardly ever watch TV in the evening. Thank you so much. And the other question, how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? I don't exercise very much. Thank you so much. Excellent sentence. I don't exercise very much. Okay, let's go to the next thing here. So let's pay attention to the position of the frequency adverb. And we have this information. Adverb frequency position in a sentence. ¿Dónde vamos a ubicar el adverbio de frecuencia en una oración? That's easy. We need to follow this structure. We need a subject, the adverb frequency, the verb, and the complement. That is the, that is the structure that we are going to follow. So take a look at these examples. He never plays baseball. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. So let's take a look at the second sentence. What is the subject in this sentence? What is the subject in this? What is the sujeto in esta oración? We, 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 you. Okay. We, we is the subject in the second sentence. Thank you. The adverb frequency is always. Go is the verb and the complement is for around. We always go for a run. Then the first one, what is the verb? What is the verb in this sentence? Place. Place is, yes, thank you. He never plays baseball. And we always go for a run and you hardly ever swing the subject. Adverb frequency and the verb. And we have a sentence, right? And we have a correct sentence. Any question in this part? Questions? Question? No question. Okay, just pay attention in this. This is a third person. So let's take a look of this. In las terceras personas, siempre vamos a ponerle la S que lleva el verbo, ¿verdad? No debemos de olvidar eso. He never plays baseball because he's a third person. He always cooks. 
chicken. Ella siempre cocina pollo. Y... Teacher. Yes. Es por regla eh, el adverbio de frecuencia que siempre vaya después del sujeto. Así es, pero hay algunas excepciones. Por ejemplo, sometimes puede ir en, de, en diferente posición en una oración. Sometimes, let's take a look at this. Sometimes yes. puede ir antes del verbo, como en el primer ejemplo. I sometimes go to a dance class. Puede ir al inicio de la oración. Sometimes I go to a dance class. And also, it could be at the end of the sentence. I go to a dance class sometimes. Okay. El, el resto de adverbios de frecuencia sí va en esta posición, ¿verdad? Excepto sometimes, que puede ir en diferentes posiciones. Puede decirlo al inicio o al final de la oración también o antes del verbo. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, if you don't have any other question, I have an exercise here for you. So let's go with the, the next exercise. We are gonna practice here. Let's take a look at this. Practice sport, go jogging, lift weight, swim. Play soccer, go to the gym, watch TV, check your cell phone. Uh, practice sport. How often uh, do you ever practice sport? Or how often do you practice sport? ¿Con qué frecuencia practica deportes? Then I have here this. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. In my case, never. Okay, you say, I never practice sport. Can you say I the complete never, sentence, please? I never practice uh, sport. Okay, excellent. I never practice sport. Thank you. Excellent sentence. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. Jogging. Go jogging. I often go jogging. Thank you so much. I often go jogging. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Lift weight. Lift weight. Lift weight. And sometimes lift weight. Thank you so much. I sometimes lift weight. Perfect. Thank you. I sometimes lift weight. Hey, swim. The next is swim. How often do you swim? I sometimes go swim. I sometimes go swimming. Thank you. Perfect sentence. Play soccer. I never play soccer. I never play soccer. Okay. Go to the gym. That was a perfect sentence too. Super sentence. I never play soccer. Thank you. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. I never go to the, to the gym. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. Answer. I never go to the gym. What about watch TV? I never watch TV. Really? I don't believe you. I never watch TV. Really? I don't have time. Okay, what about I don't have time. Always, oh, really? I don't have time for, for my I job like TV. and my activities. I don't have time for watch TV. Oh, really? <laughs> only, only Saturday is okay. one hour in, in the day. Okay, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, right? Se está perdiendo los partidos de la Champions. I'm sorry. So watch TV. No, this never. <laughs> and check your cell phone. How often do you check your cell phone? ¿Con qué frecuencia revisa su teléfono? I usually check your cell phone. Okay, I usually check my cell phone. Usually. That's great. Any other answer? How often do you check your cell phone? 
I, I always check <laughs> my cell phone. I always check my cell phone. Always, right? Perfect, thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna choose somebody to answer this question. Uh, let's start with Fatima Noemi. How often do you practice the sport, Fatima? I couldn't listen to you, but I have to say I never practiced before. Yeah? No le pude escuchar, pero... Fatima, can you please repeat? I can listen to you. Ah, okay, thank you. So you say, I never practiced sport. Thank you, Fatima Noemi. Excellent sentence. Let's go with Jami. Can you help me, Jami? How often do you go jogging? Uh, I usually go jogging. Perfect sentence. Thank you. I usually go jogging. Let's go with Eric Alexander. Thank you, Eric. Can you help me, Eric? Eric Alexander, hello. Help me with the next. Lift weight. How often do you lift weight, Eric? Hello, Eric. Turn on your microphone, please. Okay. Okay, then let's go with Harrison Adonai. Can you tell me, please? How often do you go swimming? Can you tell me, please? How often do you go swimming? Uh, hi, I hardly for, for one. Okay, I hardly ever go swimming. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Hepson. So I hardly ever go swimming. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see the next activities and tell me how often do you do these activities? Let's see number one, cook. Let's start with Mr. Serrano. So is Hosman or Josman? Is it Josman or Hosman? Is it or Hosman? Hosman, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Hosman. Can you help me? How often do you cook? How often do you cook, Hosman? How often do you cook, uh, Hosman? Um, sometimes cook. Perfect. I sometimes cook. ¿Qué dicen? ¿Le creemos o no le creemos? I sometimes cook. <laughs> then dance. Let's see dance. Anybody? <laughs> yes, it's really. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He said. He said it's true. And let's go with dance. Alma Castro. Can you hear me? Dance. How often do you dance, Alma Castro? Hello, teacher. Uh, I don't dance. <laughs> Entonces, I never dance. <laughs> Excellent answer. Thank you. And Osmin Rivera, go shopping. How often do you go shopping? ¿Con qué frecuencia se va de compras? Osmin. Uh, your microphone. Your microphone. Turn off your microphone, please. Okay, I I I go shopping in the uh, final of the mes. What, how do you say? Oh, then sería once a month. I go shopping once a month. I I go shopping once a month. Excellent. I go shopping once a month. Una vez por mes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent sentence. Travel, Edwin Antonio, how often do you travel? Yes, I usually travel on weekend. 
Ok, excelente, thank you. And watch a movie, Carlos Domínguez. How often do you watch a movie? I, I watch, I watch the, the movie uh, sometimes. Okay, I watch the movies sometimes. Very good. Excellent. Acordémonos que sometimes puede ir al inicio de la oración, at the beginning of the sentence, before the verb, and at the end of the sentence, right? I watch a movie sometimes. Thank you. Let's go with Cristina del Carmen. Tell me, play soccer. How often do you play soccer? I never play soccer. Thank I don't you. like it. Ah, okay. Perfect sentence. I don't like soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. And Karen Stephanie, read a book. How often do you read a book? Karen, hello. Um, I usually read, uh, read a book. I usually read a book. Thank you so much. Very good. And the last one, swim. Any volunteer? How often do you go swimming? It's the last. How often do you go swimming? I go swim um, often. Okay, I often go swimming. I often go swimming. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help answering this question. Okay, any question? Tienen alguna pregunta? How to use frequency adverb? No teacher. No question. Okay, that's great. So let's have this conversation practice. Conversation number one, do you ever play sports? So I play soccer twice a week. ¿Cuántas veces por semana juega fútbol esta persona? Twice. Dos twice veces. a week. Oh, Dos veces a la semana. Thank you so much. Dos veces. Dos veces a la semana. Let me look up the second one. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. I almost sí. always sleep until noon. That's great. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que durmieron hasta el mediodía? Hace un montón. O seguidito. And do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Nice. ¿Con qué frecuencia haces aerobics en el gimnasio? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Ever. Casi nunca. Any question? Any question in this part? No question. Okay. Not, not, volunteer to practice. Not teacher, that is okay. To volunteer to practice the two for a small conversation. Me? Mm -hmm. uh, can you do me a favor, please? Say me and your name, please. For example, uh, Jennifer. Me. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Me, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. Any other volunteer? I have Jennifer. Who wants to help? Who wants to help me? A person. Thank you, Herson. So Jennifer and Herson. Jennifer, you are A. Herson, you are B. Can you practice the first <laughs> two conversations? Okay. Do you do you ever play a sport? Sure. Hola. I played soccer. Three a week. Thank you. Is it three, three questions or just one? The first one. First and second, please. Okay. What do you What do you do usually do on Saturday morning? Uh, nothing much. I am not a watch. Sleep. Okay, no. okay, thank you so much. 
thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let uh, I have here a chat. Let me read it. Mm, Eric in the channel. Okay, okay, Eric, I understand. Uh, thank you so much. So can you help me how to pronounce this word, guys? Do you ever play sport? How do you pronounce this word? Anyone? Sure. 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 Thank you. Sure. Excellent. And what are all these other ones? Nothing much. Nothing much. Thank you. Hey, this one. How do you pronounce this one? Sleep. Sleep. Thank you. Sleep. And the next? Until. 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 Very good pronunciation. Thank you. So I almost always sleep until noon. And the last two volunteers to practice in conversation number two and number three. Who wants? Who wants to help me? My person, teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you. Say your name, please. So I can write your name here. So I have Carlos Vladimir and Yami. Thank you. What's letter, teacher? Carlos, Where? you are A. You are A. Carlos, Yami, you are okay. B. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Excellent job. Thank you. Okay. Very good pronunciation and really appreciate your help during this exercise. Thank you so much. So let's continue with this. Okay, I have another conversation here. Do you always exercise on Sunday? Do you always exercise on Sunday? ¿Tú siempre te ejercitas los domingos? No, I never exercise on Sunday. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmate about three times a week. So let's take a look at this. There are uh, different ways to ask for frequency, right? The first one is how often, how often do you? Con que frecuencia haces algo? O puede ser una yes, no question, do you? Do you always exercise? Do you sometimes exercise on Sunday? Then you say yes. Yes, I do. Or you can say, no, I don't. That is the short answer. Or you can use this, no, and the long answer. No, I never exercise on Sunday. And this other one is an information question. What do you usually do after class? ¿Qué haces usualmente después de clases? So I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Now I have a question for you. What do you usually do after work? ¿Qué hace usualmente después del trabajo? What do you usually do after work? I need to volunteer. My assistant to... at my class. Okay, I attend. Sorry, my English class. Thank you, I attend. To my English class. Thank you. Any other answer? Registered. Sorry. I attend to my English class. English class. Any other answer? What do you usually I, do after work? Thank you. I, I try to practice my English because I want to improve my English. Thank you. I try to practice my English to improve it. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
So probably you read in English, you listen some audios in English, some English song, some English movies, and things like that. Thank you, very good sentence. The last one, what do you usually do after work? What do you usually do after work? I need one more, one more sentence. Just one guy, help me please. Well, I usually take a nap. Thank you, I usually take a nap. Very good answer. Thank you for your super sentences. That is a really great. Um, I attend to my English class. I try to practice my English to improve it and I usually take a nap. Great. Thank you. Very good answers in this part. Any question? Do you have any question on this? What's the meaning of improve it, teacher? Mejorar. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, my pleasure. Okay, then let's continue if you don't have any question. Okay. We are going to discuss these three questions. What do you usually do after work? We have already discussed this question. Do you ever practice sport? Uh, what do you usually do on weekends and how often do you exercise? So let's talk a little bit about the third one. What do you usually do on weekends? What do you usually do on weekends? So let's go. Veamos, Cristian Lorena, choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros, Cristian. Alma Castro. Ok, Ana. The question is, what do you usually do on weekend? Sorry, teacher, no. I, I repeat for me, please. Ah, ok. What do you usually do on weekend? ¿Qué usualmente hace los fines de semana? Ah, ok. I usually um, pasar tiempo. ¿Cómo se dice? Spend time. Uh, spend time. Uh, I usually spend time with my family in the church in, in, in the park. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alma Castro. Very good sentences. Choose one of your classmates. Um, Carlos Dominguez. Carlos Dominguez. What do you usually do on weekend, Carlos? Uh, I go, I go the visit the show. Um, and usually, um, to practice uh, English, I I I always uh, connect in the platform, the platform English. Okay, excellent sentence. Thank you. He, he said, "I usually go to the church. I usually practice English. I usually work on the platform exercises." Great sentences. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, guys. It has been a pleasure to me to be with you tonight. And it is an honor to be your uh, facilitator during this year's course. If you have any comment, please write on my WhatsApp, right? Uh, ahí está mi número en el grupo de WhatsApp. If you have comments, mire, teacher, yo no participé. Tell me. Tell me. Para que en la próxima clase yo lo tome en cuenta y pueda participar with that. So thank you so much. Thank nice you, to teacher. Meet you, I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.